What's good everyone, my name is Deep and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your artist profile the quick and easy way. To make the perfect artist profile, you're going to need a few things. Your DJ name, your DJ logo, a few lines about you, a few lines about your music and the information regarding the kind of music that you play, your gallery, basically your pictures and the sixth thing is your contact information. First thing you're gonna need is your DJ name. That could be you, Ashwin, or you could be Rahul, or you could be Wanchi, or you could be Deep, or anyone. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna choose the name Rohit and I'm gonna make a profile around that. But you can choose your DJ name. Your DJ logo is your brand name. It's essential to have a DJ logo. I spoke about the branding in my other videos. I'll link it down in the description box. You must see that video about how to brand yourself as a DJ. If you have a DJ logo, you're off to a good start. But if you don't have your DJ logo already, I'm gonna show you how to get it done ASAP. You will need a computer for this. So on your Mac or PC, open your browser and go to the website thefont.com. This website has some amazing fonts and they have the fonts categorized in different styles. You can choose the one that you like from their massive collection. I like their techno fonts a lot and I'm going to choose this one here which is called Mandate Tree Play Thin. You can also click on the font name and see a preview of how it will look with your text. So I'm going to preview Rohit Gupta or Rohit G which is the DJ name for the purpose of this demo. I think that looks perfect. You can then go ahead and download the font and install it in your PC or Mac. To install, click on the downloaded file and unzip it. Open the unzipped folder and copy the OTF file and paste it in the fonts folder of your system library. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna click stop. Once done, open Keynote or Microsoft PowerPoint uh, if you're using a Windows computer and open a blank presentation. Go ahead and delete the subheading since we will not need that. Bring the heading to the center and rename the center text to the DJ name, which is Roy G. Go to the text editor and choose our new downloaded font, which is this one here. It's called mandatory plates in and increase the size to fit the page. Perfect. Now go ahead and save the file as an image. Click on the file, click on export and click on images. Choose the format as PNG and click export. Rename the file with whatever you want and export it to your computer's desktop. There it is, just make sure and then delete the presentation document since you won't need it anymore. Now this image that we just exported has a white background but we need to remove that background and make it transparent. You can use Photoshop for that, but if you don't have Photoshop, you can use this free browser-based image editor called Photopia or Photop. Now simply drag and drop that text image onto Photopia. Now to remove the white background, you will have to select the magic wand tool and click on the white section that you want to remove. Once the background is selected, go to the edit and click clear. Also click on the inside of the letter O, which is still white and remove that as well. And just like that, the background is now removed. Now to save this file, click on the file and click on export as and export it as PNG file. Make sure it's PNG and then click and save and download it to your computer. There you go. Open the folder to check and make sure everything is perfect and the background is removed. Awesome. Now simply select the file, drag and drop it to the laptop's folder on the desktop and that's it. That's how you can have a text logo with a clear background. You can use just the text as your logo but alternatively you can also have an icon along with the text as your logo. This icon can be your brand image and the text can accompany that. For example, the G in the Google logo is the icon and the word Google is the text logo. Now to design the icon, open the browser and search for an icon based on your name. We will search for RG logo which are the initials to Rohit Gupta and click on images. Here you will see a lot of options but look for an image which is not very popular and obvious because this may not be legal and you may not have the rights to use uh, these logos. But since this is your first artist logo and you're really not that popular already, nobody should object. However, this is not the permanent solution. You may have to go ahead and get a logo designed which is unique to your brand. Maybe just use thefont.com and use a unique font to make an icon. 
For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use this icon image which I searched online and downloaded earlier. Now to complete your logo, let's go to canva.com which is an awesome free graphic design website. Here you can click on the option create a design and click on the logo section in the drop down menu. A new tab will open with a white background. Now open the logo folder on the desktop and simply drag and drop the icon file onto the Canva file that we just opened. You can double tap and crop the image to fit the image perfectly onto the background. Also drag the text file that we designed earlier and drop it onto the Canva file and resize that to fit the overall image perfectly. Make sure both the icon and the text logo is centered which makes it look clean and professional. That's it. Now let's go ahead and download this file. Click on download and select PNG file and hit download. Open the file to make sure everything is alright and once again let's go ahead and open photopia.com to remove the white background. Repeat the process that we learned earlier about how to remove the background and save that file onto your computer. And that's it. Rename the file, drag and drop it to your logo folder and you're done. This is how you make your artist logo yourself and for free. The next thing that you're going to need are a few lines about yourself, the about you section also known as the biography, basically a few lines where you speak about yourself. Now when you write about yourself, make sure you sound humble and you're not boasting a lot about yourself. You want to be a welcoming personality and whatever you write in your biography, in your about section shows a lot about your personality and who you are. So whatever you write there, please try to be honest and please try to be nice with the wordings and the grammar. Try not to write the things like I'm the best or he is the best DJ or his mixing skills are extraordinary or things like that. Don't try to fake things, try the reality and make sure that whatever you write is 100% true. Let's just go ahead and write your about. Now while writing about you, you will need to make sure you mention these 7 points. That is your real name, your DJ name, your location and where you're based, your career highlights if any, when did you start DJing, where or who did you learn it from, if you're a resident DJ currently or if you play at some clubs regularly and a few more things that are maybe worth mentioning. Let's go for it. Real name Rohit Gupta known professionally as Rohit G which is your DJ name, is a Bangalore based disc jockey that's your location. He started his musical journey when he finished college, however his DJing only began in 2018. This shows how long you've been DJing for. He learned DJing from, uh, you can write the name of the school or you can write the name of the DJ who you learned it from and mention one important thing about them. So let's just say that the DJ is really popular and uh, we will just write a prominent name in Bangalore DJ circuit. You can just write as per your location. Now let's write if you're a resident DJ or not. He's currently working as a resident DJ at you can write your club's name here with the location. Let's just say Bangalore. Now let's just write a few more things about you which are worth mentioning. Maybe if you hold a weekly residency you can write about that as well and that's it. The next step is to write some music related information about yourself. This section is where you write the things related to your music and the music that you're gonna play. So the club or the booking agent has a fair idea of what you're going to deliver musically in the event that they're trying to book you for. So make sure whatever you write, you write uh, whatever you actually do. Don't write about some genres which you don't play. Don't write about things that you don't really do. Let's go ahead and write a few things about your music related information. Again, open notepad and let's start writing. Think of the things that you want people to know. For example, why did you choose this career? Maybe because of your love for a certain genre or something like that? Or maybe because you were inspired by another DJ or something similar, write about that. And you must also write about your DJ set and what kind of music you like and play. That should be very clear. Try to make sure that it's very clear about the genres that you can play. But you can also write about other genres that you don't mind playing. This way the client knows that you're versatile. You can change this later when you know what exactly you want to be known for. But for now, let's just stick with being a little more versatile since you're just starting your DJing career. Make sure you also write what you can do with the music that you have. Make sure you give them some kind of assurance. 
You can also write about the venues that you performed at already and maybe also write about the senior DJs you opened for if any. You can also choose to add some links to your mixtapes etc. If you have them uploaded online, just copy that link and embed it into the text. That should be it. Let's just save that and move to the next step. And now that you have all the content written and ready, let's go ahead and make that awesome looking profile. Again, open the browser and go to canva.com. Click on create a design and click on custom dimensions. I like the page to be wide, so I'm gonna choose 1280 by 800 pixels. But you can also choose the traditional portrait A4 size page. Let's rename it with the profile name, Rohit G profile. This is a blank canvas and on the left there are a lot of templates to choose from. But let's just go ahead and make ours from scratch. We will need a background to make the profile look more interesting. You can choose a black background or a white background depending on what you like. But for this demo I'm gonna choose a grey vignette background which in my opinion looks really professional and doesn't distract the readers from the text. To find the background let's open the browser and search for a grey background vignette. Click on images and there you go. You will have a lot of options here. I have already downloaded mine and I'm gonna use this one. Drag and drop that background image onto your blank canva page and resize it to fit the page perfectly. Awesome. Now let's also drag and drop the logo on top of this. This is your first page and this must contain your DJ name and your DJ logo. Resize it if you have to and place it perfectly on the center. Perfect. Your first page is now ready. Now to create the next page, your about page, click on the plus icon on the top right corner that will duplicate that page with the background. Now one thing that I wanted to mention here is maintaining a consistent design profile. Throughout the profile, whatever you type, try to match the fonts, try to have fonts which are easy to read, try to have fonts which are very simple and elegant looking, try to make it look as professional as possible. Don't go all out crazy with those fonts and don't try to show some different personality through the fonts which you may not really be. So make sure that whatever you type is consistent with the fonts throughout the profile like your about section the headings of each are the same uh, font and the about section and where you write a few things about yourself are all of the same font that consistency makes the profile look very professional back to canva now let's create your about page let's add the heading click on the text tab on the left and click add a heading rename it with about and place it on the top center of the page now to add the about text that we wrote earlier, click on add a subheading, then copy and paste your about onto the subheading section. Let's increase the text size and resize the section to make it nice and centered. Also we can choose a different font if you don't like this one. I'm not really happy with this so I'm gonna click on the fonts tab here on the top and choose something else. You will have a lot of options here but make sure you choose a font which is clean and readable. I really like the font rail around so I'm gonna choose that one. Nice. Let's resize the text one last time to make sure it's not too big or too small. Let's also change the font of the heading. I like the font Montserrat Classic so I'm gonna choose that one. Awesome. Let's just make sure everything is perfectly lined up and centered before we move on to the next page. Check to make sure that there are no spelling mistakes etc. Looks alright to me. So let's go to the next page. Click on the plus icon and create the next page which is the music information page. Again click on add a heading and rename it with music. Move it to the top center and change the font to Montserrat Classic to make sure we are consistent with the style. Let's also copy and paste the music text we wrote earlier onto the subheading section. Nice. Resize the section and let's make it fit to the page. Notice my font sizes are also the same in all the pages. The next page is about your pictures, your gallery. This is a place where you showcase about your style, where you showcase who you are and how you look as a DJ. You must upload great images 
try to upload pictures where you look well groomed where you look very professional where you don't uh, look goofy and you are not looking like you really don't care try to get a really professional shoot done it's all right to spend that money because those pictures are going to be used later in all the uh, promotional mat- material <laughs> promotional material that they're going to make for you time to make your gallery page again click on the plus icon to create a new page click on add a heading and rename that with gallery change the font to same as all the others now let's add your pictures to do that let's go to the elements tab here on the left and click on frames this adds an image frame which can be replaced with your image later make sure it's a traditional shape like a square or a rectangle copy the frame and create multiples and place them nicely so they look really good on the page and that's it the last page and the most important page and the reason why it's in the end is your contact information now they've read about you they've seen who you are they've understood the kind of music that you play they also have a fair idea about your design and your style and now they want to know how to contact you this page is your contact information here is where you will write your real name here is where you will write your mobile number your email address and the links to all your social profiles like instagram facebook twitter or whatever that you have online to make your contact page follow the same steps as we did earlier add a heading and make sure the font is consistent add a subheading and rename that with your mobile number and email address also remember when you make your official email address try to create that with just your dj name and no numbers in it don't make it too funky like dj rohit rocker at gmail.com or something like that if you don't have a professional email address create one now it's free now make sure the fonts are same as others and resize the section to fit the page well let's also add your social handles like instagram facebook etc i mentioned in my branding video about making your social handles the same across all social media websites so people can easily find you across all the platforms also adding your website address if you have one is a good idea but it's not very important you can skip this step if you don't have a website resize and fit all the different sections making sure they are all spaced out well looks like we're almost done let's see all the pages and make sure they all look fine and the style is consistent double check to make sure there are no spelling mistakes and no grammatical mistakes looks good to me let's go ahead and download this artist profile we just made click on download on the top right corner and select pdf print as your file type and hit download and that's it it's now downloaded on your computer Let's just minimize everything and create a parent folder and rename it with your artist name Rohit ji artist profile and add all the profile related files in one place that is your dj logo and the logo icon along with the artist profile that you just created let's open the profile and have one final look wow i really think this came out well and looks really professional as well Please hit that like button if you think this looks great and also comment in the comment section to let me know what you think about the design. And that's it. That's how you make your first artist profile fast and easy and also make it look professional at the same time. That's it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please 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 subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what I'm doing and also click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.